Yo, you know what it is? Nothing but illustrious guests on the That's number one right. show of Late Night. That's right, you trash bags. Everybody's favorite dad, all blackish star of the new Netflix film Beats, and one funny motherfucker in front of the show. Please give a warm welcome to our guy, Anthony Anderson, y'all. Anthony Anderson, the Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> My guy. What's up, baby? Hey. Yeah. Welcome. Right. Welcome to our show on the Real Thank Network. You. Yes. I see. How's it feel? Yeah. We got an audience, Yo, we got real got cameras. Got audience, I got real people. No flies. What's no it? Oh, flies? no are you, you see the no flies? Yeah. Is okay, that the biggest flex? That. Is that the most impressive that, thing you see right now? That's the most impressive thing. Uh, you're, you're all on the uh, old 106 and Park set right now? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Outside right now, Bow Wow tight yeah. as fuck. Like, yo. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on? How y'all feel, man? Chilling, man. Come I'm on, a little man. mad that you melted down both my chains to make Come on, yours. stop it, stop it. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, Yo. My, my chain feeling on, my neck is feeling on naked this shit. Yo, <laughs> I didn't know you were a Dominican Jew. I mean, yeah. yeah. How did you not know that? I did not know that. Somebody told me I was like, yo. That's his thing. No, he's not Jewish. They're like, no, his wife is. I was like, OK. okay. He yeah. is the Jewish, Jewish Rachel Dolan, though. Uh, uh, yeah. Really? Pretty, I mean, like, I'm a Jewish adjacent. Adjacent, OK. Yeah. That's Imagine right. you in synagogue. You see his Dominican ass coming with two chains. You know, you know, question if he's Jewish? With the fit and all, like, yo, what up? He got security under wall pressure, yo. like, yo. Yo, uh, yo, yo y'all niggas going to read that long ass paper? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. So, yo, you, wait, you threw your son up. You mean the Torah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? See? What the see? fuck? <laughs> when, you discuss someone's, when you discuss someone's religious documents the same way as a backwood? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, my guy. So, you threw your, you threw your son a bro mitzvah? To my son a bro mitzvah. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Wow. Uh, so, that's a bar that's mitzvah a without the Jew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what's crazy, man? When my son was 12 years old, he came home and said he didn't feel black. And I knew where he was coming from. Because, mm -hmm. You know, me growing up in Compton, him growing up in the suburbs, uh, my family still living in the hood, yeah. him seeing what's going on around with young black men, and that, that's not his reality, mm -hmm. you know? And so I had to explain to him, I was like, look, son, this is your black experience. Yeah. You know, your black experience is vastly different than the black experience I had growing up in Compton. But that doesn't make you any less black because this, this is your blackness. And he was like, okay, dad, I get it. For my 13th birthday, can I have a bar mitzvah? Mm -hmm. And I looked at him, I was like, you really ain't a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, son, we can't do that. And I was like, that's not our heritage. That's not our culture. And I was like, and so we were joking around. I was like, you know what we're going to do? I said, I'm going to throw you a bro mitzvah. Mm -hmm. And he was like, cool. So I had Adidas send his entire eighth grade class shell toe Adidas. I had Kango send hats. I had Gazelle send glasses. We all had Dookie ropes on and, and, um, uh, Adidas sweatsuits, and it's the best to this day. He's 19 now. To this mm -hmm. day, his friend says it's the best bar mitzvah they've ever, ever been to. Did he, yeah. go to. did he go to a bar mitzvah before that that put the idea in his head? No, he did. He did. Yeah. The majority of all his friends in his uh, in his private school were mm -hmm. Jewish, yeah. and so that that's that's where he was, and that's what he was experiencing. So uh, we we did that, man, and and that wasn't the premise of Blackish, but that was what our pilot episode was right, about. I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. So wait, did you guys do the whole the chair thing? We did all that, man. Because I tried to do that in the nightclub. We got thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> you was in the wrong nightclub, dog. <laughs> you was in the wrong nightclub. So, oh. so yo, this is, this is out of left field, but I'm, on, I'm online at the supermarket. Okay. I'm high shit. Uh -huh. I'm in there, and I got a lot of sugary drinks in my, in my thing. Right. And I'm feeling bad about it already. Right. And I look at the magazine rack, uh -huh. and I see you on the cover of Diabetic <laughs> Living. <laughs> 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 I was like, yo, yo, you ain't trying to, you trying to tell me something. You trying to tell me something. No. Put the Snapple back, nigga. No, no. no you, know, you know what's crazy? I've been in that same situation and looked at the same picture of me on the magazine <laughs> <laughs> and had to put all my shit back. It was Hagen dazs man. It was candy. It was yeah, uh, gummy bears and all that. Like, yeah, yeah, I've been there. I got a bad sweet tooth, bro. How yeah, do well, you, how do you conquer that? Why? Well, I, I, well uh, it's either type two diabetes or put the shit back. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you conquer it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, it is, man. You got it the is. new game show to tell the truth with your mom. Who yeah. You mentioned before on the last show. Last time I did. Y'all need to have my moms on the show. Let's make it happen. Mama, Deces and Meryl gonna have you on the show. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Now we got to fresh this shit. She's just gonna yeah. show up. I'm like, oh, okay. Yo, yeah. Okay, this is, oh, but before we go in, this is water. I really thought it was vodka or gin or tequila. Hit it. Okay. Go, Anthony. Go, Anthony. Go, Anthony. Go, Anthony. Yeah. in the house. You know what? Yeah. Ah, you show where everyone gets herpes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. 
Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, oh, we giving you a, time, a different type of gift bag. Right? <laughs> you can watch it down. You can't put this shit on eBay. Oh, shit! <laughs> you can wake up tomorrow like, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that was strong. What the hell is that? That's that baby making shit. Little, little, okay. little rum, you either gonna a fight or both. Uh, both. Both. <laughs> Why are you fighting? <laughs> All right, now what was it? What were we talking about? We were talking about you got the game. Oh. Fighting. We were talking about my mama. <laughs> You can't show got your mama. Like? Sorry, mama. <laughs> well, you said it says your mom could get a little wild. A little? Yeah, yeah that, that's as an we about to see here. Okay, let's see what, what we got. All right, Miss Doris, name oh. something a new magician might pull a rabbit out of. It's nuts. Anytime you got. Anytime you see Barbie do the Night King, and he's just like, <laughs> one. Yo, yo, we got our ass beat by the Braxtons that day too. It's too many of them. I don't even know. It's too Tamara, many of them. Tamara, it's, Tamara, it's all them T's. Who's, who's like? Was it Tony? Tony was coming from threes. Tony, Tony was coming from threes, Damn. but we lost because my family was giving answers like that. that. <laughs> it's next. It's next, oh. motherfucker. <laughs> when it comes to game shows, which do you like hosting better or playing them? Oh, it's, that's because I see you know you got oh, Wayne Brady, you got Let's Make man. a Deal, you got Steve Harvey doing yeah, like other game yeah. shows. No, you Where know, you, at, bro? you know what? I'm you, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I love hosting them. Yeah, it, yeah. It's fun to play them, uh, but but I I love hosting. Y'all y'all should get your own game show. We are either that or get on one. No, we're gonna be the new bailiffs on Judge Judy. You feel me? Like that's, 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 nah, that nigga lying, Judge that, Judy. That's, uh, uh, that's, 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 that's not that's not a game show. That's a game show for me. Anytime you see someone fly to LA, LA over a pot of plant, that's just a game show. <laughs> they gamble for five hundred dollars over there. That's, that's true. That's true. All right. You got a new film on Netflix. Congratulations, Get thank that you. Bag. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, trying to, yeah. Yeah. trying to. I'm saying Beats. Yeah. It's based on Dr. Dre invented Beats by Dre headphones. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. It's it's actually a coming of age story. Mm -hmm. It's okay. uh, basically Goodwill Hunting meets Hustle and Flow. Oh shit. Whoa. Yeah. I know so. you said that's a white executive was like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. Listen, Dr. Yakub, uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> Who? Do some premise. Do some premise. <laughs> it's good with hunting, but with black people. Yeah. We're in. Sign yeah. us up. No, wait. There's a lot of NBA shit going on. You, you look, ain't no lie, y'all fucking suck. That's, that's, I mean, look, uh, I'm, I'm not going to deny it. You know, for, for yeah. years, man, but you know, you got. You got fans that stick with that shit, though. Look, when I lived in New York for three years, I was courtside at the Knicks game for three years straight, damn near every home game. I so respect you, so that. You saw one yeah. like that. So you saw like 10 wins? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Knicks fan, I'm not gonna lie. Man, I grew up in LA, grew up in Compton, but it was something about the Knicks that, that they were just gritty, man. I, I just loved that. Mm -hmm. So speaking yeah. of grittiness, that's the same, is that the same approach you bring to all your celebrity games? You know what I'm saying? You throwing elbows in Justin Bieber's chest? No, you know more, more, more like Low Bridge and Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, we were doing a celebrity game. I forget where we were. Uh -huh. it, it was, uh, and somebody was coming up over, the, over, over my back to get a rebound, and I had position, and then I just stuck my ass out, like, you know, Barkley and it would do back in the uh -huh. day, and the motherfucker fell flat on his back, and it was fucking Chadwick Boseman, man. Wow. But, but this was before, this was during, right before they started shooting Black Panther. Black Panther. Whoa. So you everybody turned on me. There was almost no T'Challa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yo, you got me. Suri Madison. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How could you do that to Jackie? <laughs> yeah, I know. How you do that to Jackie, man? He's going to challenge him for the drugs. The drugs. Nigga fighting for a waterfall. <laughs> me and Chad, we talked about this couple about a month or so ago, man. Uh, and he's like, Yo, I, I forgive you, Ant. I know you didn't mean to do it. But it was just crazy how everyone had turned on me uh, in that game, and they took uh, they took Chad. We got the game. Damn. He, he didn't play no more after that. They was like, "Yo, man, you can't. You, you, yo, you about to fuck up something." Wow. You know, now you say that you could have been Thanos. Could have been. <laughs> Imagine him with Thanos and saying, "Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, I'm yeah. coming to paint with a snap and everything." <laughs> like, yo, ah, flagrant two, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> yo, um, I remember watching you play ball. Oh wow! Against okay, Cory, against Cory Booker. Look, look, look. Oh no, I missed that one. Oh, oh, how was that? Oh, oh, the one Cory Booker. No, I'm talking about when you was in L.A. when y'all shot that shit. Look, 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 look. No, 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 no,
he and was high. Look, how he, many NBA players play high? Nah, he was higher than Giraffe Pussy. He yeah, was high. Fa facts. On the moon. <laughs> like, I'm Yo, because first thing we did was go to a, at, like a, a dispensary. dispensary. Mm -hmm. Yes. I called it a weed store because we're from New York. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a weed bodega. <laughs> we went to the weed bodega. And they were like, yo, you can have whatever you want. Uh -huh. And I was like, don't tell me that. Right. Because I'm going to try to be the first nigga to OD on weed. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. then I just grab, I just went like this. You know what motherfuckers do on the poker yeah, table? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just like in the car. You went like, all in. Oh, Damn, there was a bananas. blueberry muffin. It said, not for, not for consumption by one person and not to be consumed in one day. He ate it in 10 minutes. <laughs> and I no. ate two more. Yo. Yo, his heart and then he said two more? two more. He said, hey, two more. <laughs> Yo, his heartbeat was like, dumped up. Sup, cuz. I was like, what? 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 I was like, hey, nigga, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, blood. <laughs> hey, look, hey, 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 stop. Look, hey, put the weed lemonade down, bro. <laughs> I was drinking, I was like, there's a shot of me drinking a drink. That is a 500 milligram weed lemonade. No! Yes. Facts. Yes. Facts. They I were remember. carrying around CBD oil because they were like, if y'all OD, this will save you. And I was like, no, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> we OD, we dead. <laughs> Dominican style. You know what yeah. I'm <laughs> All right, you've hosted shoes about food. You have one last meal on earth. Uh, what could it be? 24 hours. And now you don't have to worry about like diabetes and cholesterol and stuff. Oh, if it's the last you about to work, die, you nigga. think I'm worried about that? I'm just saying, <laughs> Um, I don't want you to be like date chicken and broccoli. No, 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 man. It's 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 gonna it's gonna have to be a, a, a 32 ounce bone in ribeye steak, Oof. cooked medium, uh, with some truffle butter, uh, some lobster mac and cheese, jalapeno uh, bacon cheddar uh, corn muffins, mm. uh, tarragon fingerling potato, and a 500 uh, milligram uh, uh, lemonade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you and then pop your chicken and like, uh, no. in the box, snack box, what you want, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, wait, what, is, what's the best steak joint that you go to? You know, I cook, I cook my, my, this, my steak the best. Okay. Oh, I seen it. I seen it on the cover. You know what I'm saying? You with the that full magazine? What was that magazine? Stop it. He was well, on the cover. Like, <laughs> working it. I'm what, on diabetes? <laughs> 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 Nah, it was that other man. It was like niggas cooking steaks. <laughs> <laughs> it was right next to me. My man's getting covers. All no, over man, because because you because look, man, you, you broil it mm -hmm. and then you take it out, man, and, and you take you know fresh garlic. You, you take you some fresh rosemary, some fresh thyme, and throw it in there with some butter, and then you just baste it. <laughs> You just base it like that. I, I, that's, how, that's, how you, that's how you finish it. That's how you finish it. That's how you finish it. Like, yo, can I get some fresh time? Get out of here. Don't worry. 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 All you need for a good steak, man, is salt and pepper. That's true. And a great cut of meat, salt and pepper. And then you do what I said with a little butter, garlic. Uh, uh, thyme and rosemary, Talk to and you win him. Talk to him. You win him. Well, y'all putting that extra shit, baronets and all that, and fuck all okay, that. Okay, no. watch out. You know that should be rocking. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, shout out to watch out for Anthony's new show, Steakish, like, coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you know, home, you could do this for hours and chop it up, but we're legally required by Showtime to ask you, what does your neon sign say? Right, right. No, 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 no. You know, you know what mine's gonna say? It's just gonna be some simple shit. Open all night. Here you go. Here. Open all night. <laughs> got Anthony Anderson in the building. Yeah, check it. Yo, yeah, check out his new film, Beats on Netflix, streaming right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. 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 Check it out right now. Yeah. Give it up for Anthony Anderson, y'all. All right. <laughs>